Welcome to Small Scale Life. Hey guys, this is Tom from Small Scale Life checking in with you. Oh yes, look at that, vacating the premises I see. So today we are down working on the zucchini. If your zucchini looks like this, it's a good indication you've got something going on. Your stem should look like that, nice and healthy up there. And so what I did is I'm doing a little surgery and guess who I found? This little bugger. This little bugger is not your friend. And look down in there. There is trying to escape. This poor plant is infected with squash borers. So here's another one. Two. Here's another big old boy. Three. And there's another one in here. Look at them go. And they know it too. Sorry. That's a little gross. Oh, there's another one down here. These are huge. Wow. So, what they do. Oh, wow, look at that. There's another one. And what they do is they eat your stem, right? Oh, yuck. So, they turn your poor zucchini and your squash into sawdust, right? So that's what's been going on with this poor Zook. Is they've just been mining it out. And this is a big infection here. Those are huge. You know, I haven't seen them that big before. So that's six squash borers that have been mining out my big zucchini. And they just they just turn it into, into pulp, into sawdust. Karma, the dog's watching too. Hi, Karma. So, yeah. So, how did I do this? What did I do? I don't have my knife with me. I took a utility knife and I just worked up the, uh, just made a cut. And you can see how that's really been mined out. And uh, just worked up the stem. Get out of here. So, you can just see what a number of these things have done. So these plants, um, I don't know if it's savable at this point or can be saved. Uh, obviously I have some other problems with my zucchini there. It's got a little blossom on the rot going. Uh, there are some new zucchinis coming. So obviously I want to save as much as I can. Uh, <laughs> ways you can treat this. Uh, at this stage, it is pretty late in the game. But what Michael Bell was reminding me is wood chips. You can put wood chips around the base. These little buggers do not like the wood chips. And that's them. I mean, they're just little maggots, really. And uh, they'll turn into a, you know, a bug if I let them. But I'm not going to let them. It's just gross. So, that's just in one stem. Ah. <sighs> So that's one of the problems I'm dealing with, is squash borers. And hopefully I got them all out. I really did a number on my stem here. Uh, yeah. I think I do have some slugs going on. Uh, the other thing I've noticed right here, downy mildew has attacked the basil. So we will see the end of basil here real quick as we pull that out just harvested did a harvest god those are just just disgusting um <laughs> yuck i uh, just was doing a harvest some of this broccoli had gone to flower then i caught one of these little bad boys that's our squash borer right there and uh he was trying to lay some eggs or she was trying to lay some eggs on the uh what's left of the cabbage or the uh, broccoli and the kohlrabi so that you just always have to be vigilant you just never know what's going to stop swing on by and uh, make a mess of the garden so i was just printing up some uh printing the tomatoes some more trellising everything up 
and I just decided to do a little surgery to see what happens. Again, it's a real simple utility knife. Let's see if I have one in here. Uh, no, I don't. I think I brought it inside. Real simple utility knife, and uh, just cut the stem. Oh, yeah, it's right over here. So, real simple utility knife. Make one little cut up the stem, do a little surgery, and uh, remove those squash borers, because they will kill your plants. I've already lost two zucchini, not losing any more. I'm gonna try to keep this one alive. So that's it, that's what's happening. This is Tom from Small Scale Life. Oh, other ways you can mitigate uh, uh, squash borers. Uh, row covers, you can do that, but then you're gonna be hand pollinating because you're not gonna let any bugs in there, right? And then wood chips, that's another way. And then uh, you can put BT. I'll have a link in the show notes and describe that. BT, you can inject BT or spray it on your plants, but it's too mature, too beyond at this stage so now i'm just going to add some wood chips and see what happens but uh yeah there you go tom from small scale life it's always interesting out here in the garden a little warm out today too so thanks for tuning in catch you soon take care everybody see ya. oh hit subscribe share this if other people are having some trouble with zucchini shouldn't be this hard but it is all right take care everybody bye